Yeah, I'm going to do a, a quick talk about, you know, the company, and then I'll show you what it is to create a plan and talk a little bit about our consumer model. And then Nancy will dive in and show the um, the solution in detail. And then we'll have, have to answer any questions. And also when we're showing it, people very often have questions. Um, so yeah, look, our, our vision is this, is that we want to bring financial planning um, to a huge number of people, 100 million people, maybe more. So like on the scale of like what Credit Karma did, right? Credit Karma serves like 120 million people. Um, and we're doing it, we're going about it in a different way, right? So we built this software ourselves. <clears throat> There's 40 of us working in our garages, like in my garage in Mill Valley, California. We are not in service of traditional financial services models. Like we could make probably, oh, we would be making a lot more money if we were said, hey, let's just do what personal capital is and stick this on top of an asset management business. But we are not doing that. We're leaving this software and we're charging consumers to use it, which is a much slower way to do this. But it looks like it might work as we have figured out this model. We have the model cooking on the consumer side. And now we're finding big companies are like, oh, I want to do the same thing. And we've learned a lot about this. Okay. So one other big idea here is that we think that financial wellness might be like exercise and healthcare. So uh, like Greg's story, I, I heard an interesting story, which is like, I was reading Shoe Dog by the Nike founder. And uh, in that he shares that, you know, we didn't know that exercise was good for us until 1949. So there was a British ep epidemiologist. He's studying outcomes for people that worked on buses in Britain, in London. So he's like, hey, bus drivers die young and the ticket takers live a lot longer. Why is that? And it's because the bus drivers sit around all day driving their bus and the ticket takers run up and down the stairs. And then we figured out that, oh, exercise actually leads, leads us to live longer. Like we all take it for granted. Um, but before that, if you saw people running around <clears throat> jogging, it was kind of a very odd sight. It didn't really happen. Now, like, hey, once we figured it out, companies like Nike got created or were able to scale. And people were like, exercise is good. So the exercise culture got created. Bogle has, you guys take it for granted that like, hey, let's pay attention to our money. Let's be smart about our money. Let's let's adopt good habits. Let's be transparent about it. And it's going to lead to much better outcomes in our financial lives. Most people do not think this way. So you have a unique culture and community here. But I think the big idea is like, hey, this, this could get adopted at scale. Uh, younger generations are definitely adopting this kind of stuff and thinking about it differently. So we're hopeful that this kind of thing happens. Okay. So what we've done is <clears throat> we're like, all right. We, we also discovered that people with financial plans end up with three times as much money as people without financial plans. And they're getting literate, right? That's the main thing. Uh, they're getting organized. They can see how it all hangs together. They're figuring out and hopefully making good decisions. And this is where the financial advisor does come in. Um, they're ideally taking action, right? Okay, I figured out that here's a better way to invest. Now, I do, like, I'm a big proponent of actually coaching to get people to do stuff. So I remember doing a podcast with JL Collins. And I was like, at the time, I'm like, I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm like, I got all this risk over here. I was a good saver, right? You know, but I was like a bad investor. <laughs> and I'm like, I've got all this risk over here in this company. And I've got a bunch of cash. And I'm like, and so I'm like a lot of people, you hear this question, I have a bunch of cash, what should I do? And he's like, you should throw it in the market right now and not even think about kind of, you know, dollar cost average in and stuff like that. And it took me a few years to actually take that advice. And I finally did it. And so, and also it's all, you know, majority of the index funds, low fee funds and everything else. Um, but, you know, sometimes you're just being told something and learning. It doesn't mean you're going to actually do it. Like getting someone to like say, hey, you need to do this and have you done it? you know, or doing it with a community is important. So that's also something we think about. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but like, that's what we think about these things. So anyway, we've got built this platform. We've now had 270,000 people on the consumer side build financial plans. We have about 50,000 active users. We have a little over 11,000 subscribers. Um, and it's either the 270 are free. Most of the 50 are free. The 11,000 people pay us 120 bucks a year, like TurboTax for the platform. And then you can get coaching and classes around it. Uh, and you can also talk to a CFP on our team, but it's flat fee. It starts at 1500 bucks, and uh, that's the model.
So anyway, I'm not here to sell you. You guys can check it out for free. You, you, you know, I'm sure you'll, and, and also all feedback is welcome. We, we learn a lot, a ton from our community. Uh, okay. So yeah, the way it works is like, you can build a plan on your own. You can talk to us online. There's a team of like four people that really support 50,000 active users, like through an online interface. There's a pretty intelligent chat video, you know, support mechanism built into this thing. Um, you can also jump on Zoom like this in Ask Me Anythings, office hours, in classes, uh, in one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to do that. So most a lot we're actually packaging up classes now with uh, our offering. So it's and then the the office hours are free. Um, the the coaching costs money. But it's like 125 bucks. Okay, so um, we'll. We will, we're going to dive into some of these topics in terms of, uh, you know, well, how we do planning, you know, what are some of the benefits of it? I talked a little bit about that, you know, scenarios that those are things that we help people do in our, in our platform. We'll show you that. Um, some of the, we, we actually engage also with the fire community. So have learned a lot in that community as well. And there's some fire folks on our team that are doing house hacking, doing, you know, building passive income streams through like real estate and stuff like that and just saving and investing aggressively. Okay. So, um, some of the stuff I'm going to zip through some of the stuff, but <clears throat> cause I think we're going to get into it in, in the, in the demo, but, uh, you know, basically some of the things the software will help you think about are how should you withdraw your money? Um, you know, are there tax efficiency model, you know, you know, opportunities for you like Roth conversion strategies, um, just being thoughtful about spending, you know, being thoughtful about social security, things like that. And then in terms of, um, you know, what a plan is and, 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 and what we do with it. So essentially we let anyone, a lot of people have built, a lot of our users have built their own spreadsheets and then they they find our platform and so uh, i was actually just engaging with, tw with with some folks on twitter and it's like yeah you can build your own spreadsheet um but then you're doing two taking two risks one is you've got to design your own software for planning right which is what you're doing when you're building a spreadsheet and then you got to make sure it's all the data in it is right so with us there's one platform for this and it's we get feedback from tens of thousands of users. And I'm not saying it's 100% right all the time because everything is evolving all the time. But we learn quickly. Users tell us all the time if they see any issues and then we try our best to fix it as fast as we can. So we do know we have, I mean, our, our paying customers are managing over $22 billion of their life savings on this platform. So we take it very seriously. And our free users, it's like $70 billion. I mean, this would be a big financial services company if it was like, you know, we were measured that way. Um, but anyway, so we, we basically let anyone frame up everything they have. So all of your, you know, taxable, tax deferred, tax exempt accounts, your real estate, and then what you plan to do if you have other real estate, if you're planning on buying, selling real estate, we'll, we'll share all this stuff. Um, think about your withdrawals, think about your healthcare, think about your debt, you know, think about your expenses, build budgets, think about social security, all that stuff. You'll see. Okay. So the nice thing about a plan is that, yeah, you can see everything in one place. We think of planning as a, we think of, we talk about planning versus plans, right? So a lot of times people think about like, I have a plan. They built it like an advisor might give them a plan and it's like a kind of a static thing. We, we think of like living financial plans and then you're engaged in this act of planning, just like you're engaged in the act of exercising over the course of your life. The world changes, you make different accounts, amounts of money, your expenses change, your, the markets perform various ways, your assets will perform a certain way, interest rates change, taxes change, world events change, people get sick, people inherit money, all kinds of stuff. Your parents need long-term care, you need long-term care, whatever it is. Like all that kind of stuff, it lets you frame it up and kind of see, anticipate what's coming so you can hedge yourself in, in various ways. Um, yeah, and then you, it lets you get ready and you know, try to hedge risk as, as best possible. So we'll, we'll get into scenarios, but essentially we help people frame up um, just by thinking it through and kind of thinking about what they could do. It can reduce anxiety because you're like, you know, 
you can see what you have. You can see what that you've thought through different kinds of events in the future. Um, and you know you have a place to kind of be organized around it if different if new things come up. Yeah. I was just talking with a friend of mine. He actually, this guy's like a, a fellow dad here, and he's like, Yeah, I'm I'm gonna retire. <laughs> it's like this guy's a highly paid, he works in the legal industry, you know, but he's like, he he's like, I can he came to realize he could do it. And he also was realizing that the scarce resource he has is his human capital. And he's also seeing friends around him getting sick or whatever, passing away. And he's like, okay, I got to really think about how I want to use my resources here. And so it's kind of interesting just hearing these stories. I mean, these are huge decisions people make, right? I mean, he, he's, he could clearly keep making a ton of money if he wants, but he's going to make some different decisions. What ifs? Okay, we'll dive into that too. There's lots of that and there's more coming. We're getting a lot of feedback that people want even better what ifs. Um, and then, yeah, we'll show you how you can build and compare scenarios. Okay. Um, yeah. And then one one other quick, quick thing is we do need coaches and we need help educating people. So if anyone here is like, hey, this looks cool. I would love to participate in this community. Like um, we're super interested in, in tapping into folks and seeing if uh, people want to help educate other people. Um, and it's, you can also make some money on it. Yeah. But, but, you know, you can always ask Nancy about what her experience is like, but she is helping a lot of people. And I think that's it on the deck. I'll, so what I thought I would do is I'll, I'll sh give you a quick front end tour and then create an account. And then I'll turn it over to Nancy and she's going to show you what it is to like actually work in a fully built out account. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay. Boom. Okay, so this is our consumer site. So we there's actually two parts of our site. There's it mostly looks like a consumer site, but the, there's also this whole enterprise section over here. Just so you know, or our, our thing is it's not a tool; it's a platform. It's a it's it gives companies the ability to build like their own version of new retirement if they want. Um, but back on the consumer side, so essentially the way the model works is this: you know, it's free, and you know, 270,000 people have done that, or you can upgrade to this, or you can bolt on classes. We're actually going to put all this stuff together. And then if you want, you can talk to a CFP. Okay, I'm going to actually go into staging. So go to test area, and I'm going to create an account. So this is what it is to create an account. You basically, you can come in here, or you can either email and password, or you can sign up with Google hit go. And then there's really, there's two paths. There's a, a quick way or there's a comprehensive way. The quick way is a few minutes. The comprehensive way is like a little bit like eight minutes. Um, well, I'll do the quick way just to give you a high level. So, you know, your gender or sorry. Yeah. Your, your demographic information. Are you married? Yes or no spousal information. You know, are you making, you know, money right now Oops, per month? Or are you already retired? Like, or you're no longer making money from work? Um, we'll default Social Security, but it'll this will help you optimize it later. You know, how much do you have in savings? Uh, investments are retirement savings versus other other investments. Do you have a pension? You know, is it lump sum or monthly? Is it taxable? What's the survivor benefit? When does it start? How much is it? Stuff like that. So it kind of, you can see on the right, it's kind of like building a little income flow for you. And do you rent or do you own? And then a little bit about your baseline expenses, right? Housing, medical, and other expenses. But you can build a complete budget here. So this is like a high level way to like get started. Then you go and it's like, okay, great. And this is an easy scenario, right? So, <laughs> hey, for most people here, it'll probably say 99%. Um, so we're running like a thousand passes of Monte Carlo behind the scenes to say, hey, we're based on those high level numbers, like this is how it looks. And does that feel good or bad? Okay, that feels pretty good. We're actually going to take you through like what it is to build a complete plan. There's a roadmap for that. There's also a digital coach that will suggest ways to do better. Okay, great. Here's a little quick view of your income versus expenses. So that sounds good. Um, and then because this is the retail version, it'll say, hey, Here's how you can buy plus. But what's happening with the enterprises is like, we're gonna about to roll this thing out to Raytheon. 
And so Raytheon is going to give this to 250,000 people and they'll all get the plus version of this thing as a benefit in the, in the employer. So by the way, if you, if you work in a workplace and you're in a company and you think, oh, this would be really great. I'd like to have this as a benefit. Come talk to us. Cause we would, uh, Love to talk to you because that's really the path here. It's, you know, the consumers are like a lab. It's like a way for us to show this works. But the real path to scale is deploying this in the workplace where people actually have 401ks and they're, you know, companies are super interested in educating them and having people be less stressed about their money and having better control. And this is a, a path to do that. Okay. So basically, when you come in as a free user, right, you see this dashboard, it's like gives you a forecast. Um, it talks to you about what it is to build a complete plan. So you can click in here and it'll show you, okay, we're, we're actually going to take you through like documenting, you know, all your assets, all your, all your real estate, your debt situation, income, expenses, money flows, and so forth, right? Estate plan, things like that. Um, it'll suggest ideas how to do better. It'll give you income and first expenses. You can click this and like, see, you know, we're forecasting, okay, you're working and, this stuff is growing. So this is all nominal dollars. Um, basically, it's we're in, we're in inflation adjusting, you know, everything. So and we have inflation for general inflation, housing inflation, medical inflation. So social security inflation, it's all different. You'll find that stuff in there. You'll see events in here. And then as you go to retire, it's like, OK, I'm now either drawing down or kicking social security, then RMDs, requirement of distributions kick in. So it like does all that math for you to kind of forecast this shows it to you versus your expenses. You'll also see out here your expenses like spikes a couple of times. And that's because people spend a huge chunk of their lifetime healthcare savings in the last 18 months of life. And you should anticipate this will happen. <laughs> and, you know, you'll, you'll, it will be a cost that you'll, you'll incur. So anyway, this kind of stuff is like auto done for you. Um, same thing with net worth and like how it's composed. And then it starts to find things like, oh, Hey, there's better ways you could do social security, or it looks like there's a bunch of Roth conversions that you can do. And so that's, that's what people do. And they basically go through these different sections and they fill it all in. And I'm, I'm not going to do all that because Nancy can show you all this stuff, but I mean, that's what we're doing. Uh, essentially people get organized and they start to see what they could do. Um, okay. Nancy, anything else you think I should cover on the intro part or is this good? No, I think that's very holistic. Okay. Awesome. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. Turn it over to Nancy. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for having us. I'm going to start out with just a brief demonstration of some of the um, important features of the planner. So I'm in a Planner Plus full feature account, and I've got a number of scenarios, retiring at 65 and then retiring earlier with a couple of different strategies. I want to point out in the upper right-hand corner, we have an assumptions tab. You have the ability to view your plan under three different lenses or viewpoints, optimistic, average, or pessimistic inflation and returns, three different budgeter scenarios, which I can show you, the basic budgeter, the must-spend, and the like-to-spend budgeter, and then three different withdrawal strategies. You select a retirement age in this toggle or in the profile. And when you update it in one, it'll update in the other as well. Then as you go through the plan, you can select retirement age in a variety of pull-down menus. You change the retirement age in the toggle, it will ripple through all of those areas and automatically update them. The bottom right-hand corner, we have our chat. If any of you are interested in learning more about coaching and educational opportunities, Send me a message here. This is monitored Monday through Friday. And um, we'll get back to you about any interest you may have. As Steve said, I came to new retirement as a result of a Bogleheads presentation in April of 2021. So you never know what might happen. On the bottom left hand of the planner, you can see we have a very extensive help center with articles and videos describing the operations of the planner, showing different workarounds, any kind of help you need. In the Help Center, most people will start out with the Mind Plan demos, which will lead you through each area of the plan with a video. And then we have the classroom, as Steve said. Um, when I came on board, somebody said to me, Steve wants a boot camp. And I was like, hmm, let's. Look, let's think about that. 
So now we have the classroom and all Planner Plus subscribers have access to the eight week Build Your New Retirement class, which is held live a couple of times a year. Back to the software. We have a scenario management area where you have the ability to create and compare a variety of different scenarios. You toggle between them using the tag at the left menu top. The overview, as Steve demonstrated, will show you your chance of success based upon the Monte Carlo and a variety of other metrics to show you how you're doing. Just like when you go to the doctor and they might take your weight, they might take your blood pressure, they might take your pulse and a variety of other tests. When you're looking at your financial plan and the health of your financial plan, you may want to look at a variety of different metrics, especially because each individual has their own priorities. Net worth may be important to you, but it may not be that important to someone else. Next on the left menu, we have my plan. My plan is the area of the planner where you'll enter all of your information. So I've preloaded this planner with a couple who are 41 and 43 with a variety of retirement accounts, including Roth IRAs, HSAs, 401ks, and a 529, as well as a brokerage account. We have two tax treatments for your after-tax accounts, capital gains and ordinary income. And then in the tax-advantaged accounts, we have Roth, HSA, 529, and 401k traditional, IRA, 403b, 457, et cetera. All of those, you have the ability to model deductible contributions, and all of the distributions will be appropriately taxed or not taxed. As Steve said, the planner will calculate the required minimum distributions coming into your plan. That's based upon the account balance at the December 31st before the year you are required to take, take those out and then applying the factor from the actuarial tables used by the IRS. We have a home and real estate section where you'll enter your primary residence. You'll enter a zip code that will drive the state taxation in your plan. And then you have the ability to model one future change to primary residence, multiple other owned real estate properties. So if you are planning on using rental income to support or su supplement an early retirement, you'll enter your other owned real estate properties there, future real estate purchases and future real estate sales. We have a non-mortgage debt section, an income section, which covers income from work, social security, Passive income is where you would enter that real estate rental income, pensions, annuities, and windfalls. Our expenses area covers recurring expenses with three different budgets. We have a basic budgeter. So here I've entered a number of phases, the budget while working, the monthly expenses while in early retirement, spending more, maybe traveling, and then later life slowing down. The Planner Plus Budgeter allows you to enter discrete expenses and categories if you prefer to do it that way and you're not doing that in another, you know, Quicken or Mint or something like that. The Planner Plus Budgeter has this nice must spend, like to spend feature that I'll show you in a bit. You have the ability to enter different start and end dates. So you can see down here for travel, I've entered three different phases of travel. You may be limited while working to what travel you can do, and then you may have a higher level of travel and dropping down back again. Same with groceries or eating out or anything like that. The taxes are calculated separately by the software. Medical expenses are entered in a separate section. So the recurring expenses do not include home and real estate, principal and interest, and primary mortgage payment in rent. Medical expenses are also not included in the recurring expenses. They're handled separately. And that's because, as Steve said, we have different rates of inflation for medical expenses than we do for general expenses. These are the defaults in the planner, and you have the ability to change them to whatever you wish. When you enter your accounts and assets, you have the ability to enter an optimistic and pessimistic rate of return. 
And when you tab to average, that will be a linear average. And that's how you're representing your asset allocation. So this will probably be revamped to a more asset allocation type model later this year. We have the coach <clears throat> offering you suggestions because your plan is run against a variety of financial wellness, financial planning rules. Some of these are hints, suggestions. Sometimes you'll get a hint that says you have an overlap, but that was an intended overlap. So, you know, some people are kind of like very rules-based and, oh no, it's telling me I'm doing something wrong. And sometimes it's just saying, you may be doing something wrong. We have our explorers. So you can optimize your social security, or you could run three different strategies for a, an optimized plan with Roth conversions to achieve a higher estate value, to do conversions limited to a tax bracket, or to achieve a lowest lifetime tax liability. And then we have the Insights Library. This house is a wide variety of reports and charting related to your plan. This is the Milestones Report, showing you all the exciting things you have coming up when you reach retirement age, start Medicare, Social Security, et cetera. This was released a couple of weeks ago. It's an IRMA report. It shows your modified adjusted gross income, and then the IRMA will be based on a two-year look back at an AGI. There's none in this plan right now. The lifetime income projections show that Steve demonstrated, this is really the narrative of your plan. The columns coming up are your income. And the green line or teal line going across is the expenses. When the income exceeds the expenses, it can be saved back into the plan. And you have the ability to say where it's going, to what account, growing at what rate. And then when the income does not meet the expenses, the planner will model net savings drawdowns from your accounts. So in this plan, it's a very standard plan, retiring at 65. Both users are working until age 65. There's no relocation or anything like that. In this plan, they're retiring early and they're going to Portugal. So here in the lifetime projection chart, we see the green proceeds from the home sale coming in. And then in home and real estate, they're going to sell and start renting outside the US in 2029. In expenses in healthcare, we can see while they're in Portugal, they've got the $2,000 in rent in home and real estate. And then they've got the recurring expenses for $2,000 here because they're in Portugal and it's a lot less expensive than the US. In this plan, they're retiring early with some rental income. So they have a future real estate purchase and then they have passive income from rent that's represented in this green in the income charts and that's helping them fund that early retirement. If we go to the scenario management area, we can compare a couple of these scenarios side by side. Let's look at the standard retirement, Portugal and the rental income. And then you'll see highlighted here, which plan has a higher net worth. You'll see the chance of success for each of the plans. and then a variety of other metrics, including lifetime effective federal tax rate. So that's a high level of basically how you would use the planner and how to create different scenarios. Does, would someone like to see me create a scenario? Yes, please. Okay, it's very easy. I press add a new scenario. I give it a name. Greg, what kind of scenario? Um, we're gonna go to the Galapagos and spend the rest of our life researching birds. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, I think maybe perhaps someone in their 40s who wants to retire in say five to 10 years, they say that's their 
Um, that's their hope. You'll select one of your plans to, from which to import the data. So we'll select retire at 65. We'll create a new scenario. And basically that plan will be copied. So this is retire five to 10 years is a carbon copy of the retire at 65 plan. I press here and then I can go to my plan and I can update any of the areas I want. So I'll pull down the assumptions toggle and we'll be retiring at 50. and 48. We see how that impacts the plan. Now we have a chance of success of 86 because the income streams are ending. Nothing else has changed. There are certain items that are carried from scenario to scenario. Account balances, for example, if you change them in one scenario, they will impact all scenarios. Marital status is static throughout the plan. So if you use the trash can icon and delete the spouse. It deletes the spouse from all plans. If you add a spouse as a single user, it adds it to all plans. If you change the age, it adds that it's the same across all plans. So you can't do like a plan for me, a plan for my mom, a plan for my sister. But you do have the ability to model different levels of expenses in each plan. The primary residence will be carried across scenarios but you can change that future change to primary residence. So in one scenario, you'll be going to Portugal. In another, you might be moving to a tax-free state. Is there anything else you were hoping to see in the com comparison, Greg? Well, uh, I have a message from Steve Chen and Chad who asked you to answer David Burns' question, which is, do you consider ACA expenses with Roth conversions or in other areas of the plan? Right, not yet. That is in the development queue. We when when the um, the three new strategies on the Roth Conversion Explorer were released, we discussed whether to also optimize for Irma, and whether to also optimize for the ACA because those are both you know basically pretty easy. I understand for the programmers. I'm not a programmer, but. Um, you know, it's 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 importing a chart or a table, just like a tax bracket. So that is currently in the development queue. I don't know what the priority status of that is. I I I'm probably the most um, I'm probably one of the members on the team who thinks you know modeling the ACA would just be a super home run because I'm a bit of a calculator geek myself, and I know that the other the other pieces of software out there that are web-based do not do not optimize for the Affordable Care Act. And I also know how important it is for people who wish to retire early. Yeah, um, one one comment here, just in general, the this product has been highly informed by power planners, people that have their own spreadsheets who are a little older with our name, new retirement and wealthier, like our average free consumer has a million dollars of investable assets. The average paying customer has $2 million. So they do not look like normal people in the US. They're far wealthier. They're you know, clearly in the mass affluent phase, right? Those are average numbers. Um, so, so we want to serve that audience. And so things like ACR definitely, and like Irma, you can see how the tools evolve to, to do these kinds of things. We've done a lot of complex, complex stuff. And we can show you like how we think about withdrawals and then like, like, you know, we can show you how we think about Roth conversions and what we're doing. Like there's a lot of like, essentially we level, we leverage the, our ability to run scenarios quickly behind the scenes to kind of optimize things for folks. So when we're saying, Hey, here's ways you can think about Roth conversions. We've run a lot of scenarios behind the scenes to find which one accomplishes your goal the best. That's kind of generally how I think about it. Um, but there's a tension with that, with this audience and like, how do we help, you know, a 25 year old that is just getting, learning about like, how should I think about student debt or, you know, start to save and start to invest and just making it super simple for them. So 
we're trying to make the platform work for anybody. So young to old, less wealthy to more wealthy from accumulation to decumulation and worldwide. So that's why certain things, you know, we're, we're basically juggling these things on a roadmap. You know, we have 40 people here. This is not a lot relatively, um, but the, that's the vision. The vision is one platform does planning in general across and it's available, you know, consumer side through advisors, but in the workplace, you know, insurance companies, if they want to add planning capabilities to what they're doing, like we have a pretty broad view about what we're doing here. I want to point out, we do have a 2023 Roth conversion calculator, which is one of our standalone calculators. And the reason I'm pointing this out is that this actually is a great model for what a Roth conversion calculator or um, optimized for Irma would look like. And I, I should show you the Roth conversion explorer itself, but in this type of model, you can select to optimize for a tax bracket, and you can also select to optimize for an Irma tier. So it would be very easy to create something like this where instead of convert up to Irma, it would be convert up to an ACA threshold. And this is a standalone tool launched off our website. 